Are you ready to have the close and connected and committed relationship that you've always dreamed of, but you're not meeting the quality of the person that you really love to share your life with or be in that relationship with? And then maybe you find yourself asking yourself, so what am I doing wrong? Hi, I'm Mary Morrissey. I'm the author of two best-selling books, No Less Than Greatness and Building Your Field of Dreams, which became a PBS special. I'm also the founder of Life Mastery Institute. There's a song by the famous American jazz singer Nat King Cole called Nature Boy. And it contains a very poignant and profound lyric that I absolutely love. The final line of the song is, the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. I think there's a deep soul longing in each one of us to have a deep, true, lasting connection with another human. And to have that be a kind of relationship that grows and develops and expands. And there's a, a fabric of connectedness and love that extends well beyond your physical presence to, with one another. So you can be warm and close when you're side by side, warm and close when you're in separate rooms or even in distant cities. And whether that person becomes a married person or a lifelong friendship, that longing to have a connection with another human who knows you and loves you and accepts you for who you are. And in their presence, you are encouraged to explore parts of yourself and actually become more of who you're capable of being and that you provide that for the other person as well. The value of having a wonderful, caring and committed relationship and what it brings in your life can't actually be measured, but it can be felt. And you've seen this too, you're, you're maybe even just walking down the street and you see two people, maybe they're old and they're just shuffling down the street, but you can feel the love between them. And it warms you just to see that love presence through those two people. So if you know you're ready to have the relationship that you would love and that you really want that relationship, but that relationship isn't manifesting in your life, my invitation to you is take a look at what you can do to change that because what's happening is you can't not be in the energy that you're being in, but you can look at the energy that you are being in. And you can ask yourself the question in the same way that if I'm watching TV and I'm watching problem TV, I'm watching CNN, but I want romance TV, I gotta change the frequency. I can't keep tuned to the frequency of CNN and see romance. It's not on that channel. It's on a different frequency. And so, Ask yourself this question, am I actually a vibrational match for what I'm telling myself I want? I'm, do I want a happy, joyful, fulfilling relationship in my life? Do I want to be with somebody who's living a life they love living and they're happy and they're joyful, they have fulfillment and they want to share life with someone? Am I being that? Am I being happy and joyful and fulfilled as I'm living my life? Because here's the truth, you don't attract what you want, you attract what you are. And often I've seen people who are walking in the grocery store and they're, and they're walking by themselves and they're just walking in and you, you know, you can feel that they're looking around, they see couples, and their head drops a bit and their shoulders are slumped and they're shopping and you imagine them thinking, you know, here I am again, shopping for one. I've had many clients who want to have the love of their life. Talk about one of the most painful experiences, going in a grocery store and see other couples having fun shopping and thinking, here I am, shopping for one again. Here I am, shopping for one again. And my encouragement to them is, you are shopping for one, for one person who matters a lot to you, and that's you. If you treat that with reverence and respect, you go, so I'm going to treat myself well here. I'm going to recognize that I get to treat myself with the nourishment that I choose. And what will happen is, if the person that you are really wanting to be with or in that grocery store, but you're walking around in a dull drum and ain't it awful and I'm only shopping for one energy, they're not going to really see you. Because unless you want somebody who's in a doldrum, drop down <laughs> energy of, oh my gosh, I don't like my life, when you're being that, that's what you'll attract. So you want to be in a vibrant, alive, happy life so that you're attracting someone who's in a vibrant, alive, happy life. So you could start a gratitude journal. You could actually write three things in the morning that you are grateful for and three things in the evening that you are grateful for. And do that for 30 days with coming up with different things each day. Now you've got six different things that you're focusing on that you're grateful for. Recognize that ultimately, while you would love to share your life with someone, they can't make you happy. And if you wait till they're around to be happy, you've missed a whole bunch of your life and a bunch of that happiness that you could have had along the way. And you're not nearly as likely to attract someone who's really wonderful if you're not being wonderful. So you can just make a decision. You can actually decide that you can be truly happy now.
and that someone coming into your life to share in that happiness would be wonderful, but it's not required. And that by being truly happy, by being in a, in a giving and an open and a positive energy, you are much more likely to attract someone who's an open, positive, giving energy themselves. Now, if your current mindset is that you won't be truly happy until you have that relationship you want, my invitation to you is do an experiment. Experiment with deciding that you can be happy for the next 30 days. You can absolutely be happy. You can do your gratitude journal. You can look at how you can bring happiness to other people. As you're walking in the grocery store and you see those two people laughing and joking and buying food for two, you go, there's, there's an example of what it is. I'm so happy for them. And meanwhile, I'm having a life I'm in love with and I'm living a life that I enjoy. And watch the energy that you're coming from change. You're gonna have different thoughts. You're gonna make different choices and guess what? your life is on a whole new trajectory. Because when you change your mind on what has to happen for you to be happy and what has to happen for you to be fulfilled, there's a doorway that opens in you. And the doorway is to a whole world that's not on the frequency of look how awful it is. And there are a number of things that any one of us could choose to do to drive up our happiness factor over the next 30 days. We could decide to work out three days a week because that's actually a gift that we're gonna give ourselves. We could decide to plan a trip with a friend, go for a weekend or a day somewhere. We could decide to try a new hobby and meet new people. There was a woman who was a client of mine. She was an attorney. She was extremely successful in her professional world and bankrupt in her relationship world. She spent so many years getting her academic degrees and then working to climb up that ladder of supposed success, which it was success in her legal career. And her whole relationship life, in terms of particularly that deep longing, to have a significant other was completely not only undernourished, but bankrupt. And now she was 41. And she knew that the time for her to have a baby and to have the marriage and the, and the family that she had dreamed of was dwindling. And so she came to me and we spent some time. And then over time, as I was coaching her, we talked about the things she could do with what she had. One of the things she could do was buy a new pillow for the person who would be sleeping with her. The other thing she could do is clean out half the closet and leave space for the person who would hang his clothes or her clothes, for her it was a male, hang his clothes there in that half of the closet. And then on her own, she decided to buy the dress that she would wear when the two of them went out on a really great special night out. And she hung that dress. And meanwhile, as she was doing things, making room for this partner that she'd always wanted, she just started to get happier. She started doing the gratitude journal I mentioned earlier in this video. She was writing three things in the morning and three things at night. She started holding her head high when she went grocery shopping because she was nurturing herself. She started putting on, almost like a Halloween costume at first, the energy of I'm happy and fulfilled and I'm living a life I love living because part of her was really complaining that she didn't have this relationship and maybe she wasn't going to have the baby and she'd override that part of herself and just say, I've all I've got today, I've got today, I've got today. I'm gonna to bring my full happiness to this day. And one day after going to the same grocery store she'd always gone to, she passed and there was a new uh, pet store opening and they had little puppies in there. And she fell in love with this one puppy and she got this puppy and a month later, of course, the puppy was you know, bouncing around wanting to do things and it was gonna be a, it was like a Labrador. So it was growing big fast. So she started walking her dog, walking her dog. And then she found there was a dog park not too far from where she lived. And as she went to the dog park, there was, she, she was meeting new people and there was this man who came and they began to talk about their dogs and they, got to, and they would meet on a regular basis at the dog park and you can see where this is going. Ultimately, they began to date. Ultimately, they fell in love. Ultimately, Gail and David became married. I had the privilege of performing that wedding and Gail's second half of the closet got filled up and there was a wonderful man sleeping on that pillow she bought and there were evenings where she wore that great dress and about two years later, Gail had a wonderful little baby boy. And the dream for her life not only occurred, but what the real gift I believe for Gail was that she was happy before she had all those other things come into her life. That greater expression of happiness began first as an inside job. And she already became happy and then those things became the icing on the cake. So to recap, if you want a relationship that brings joy and depth and support and fulfillment, it has to come from inside you. Create that now for yourself. And by doing this, you increase your attraction factor by a whole octave. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll share it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done that. Here's a question for you. What's something you're willing to do this week to explore a greater happiness, 
right inside yourself. What could you do this week? Just let me have a note about that for you. And then if you have any questions, I create videos out of the questions I receive. So go ahead and share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.